It's the Dice Tower's coverage of Gen Con 2012, powered by Game Salute News. Hey, this is Tom Vassell, and welcome to the fourth video of this series. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to be taking a look at prototypes and upcoming games that I found out about or had a chance to see at the fair. Now, this was prototype heaven. Everywhere I went, there was... I'm not exaggerating. There were hundreds of prototypes all over the place. And so a lot of prototypes I saw, I didn't get everyone's video. So if you don't see your prototype, please don't, you know, weep and be bemoan because there was just so many different prototypes to see. Some of these games might be super popular in future years and some of them, you know, we'll probably never hear about again. Which will be which remains to be seen. This game here is a new game called Consequential. It's coming from Osmati Games. And it's a game that involves storytelling, but not just any old storytelling. You basically go online and you download sessions. It's a, like an ongoing story. Things are going to change as time goes by. So you start at episode one and then you go forward, you know, one episode at a time and things will change. Your story will change and there's different cards that you won't use until you get the different episodes. And then if you like the game enough... After a certain amount of time, you'll be able to purchase an expansion that will take you on other episodes. Although, from what I can see, there's a lot of episodes for the very first game. So that should make people happy. This was inspired by Risk Legacy. So I'm very inter interested to see how this turns out. Here we have uh, the latest game from Stratamax Sheepdogs of Pendle Dog, Hi Pendleton Hill. One of the things that's really impressive about this game is... The, the size of these pieces, those are really giant pieces. It's a big board with probably the biggest farmer I've ever seen and giant chunky wooden pieces. So we look forward to seeing this one being released. Here's a quick peek at the King of Tokyo expansion. It comes with a new giant panda and upgrades for all the monsters for them to get their powers. So that's pretty exciting. Of course, Fantasy Flight always has a big, what they call, in-flight report, where they announce different things that are coming out and show expansions and all kinds of sorts of things. It's a lot of fun to go to. I got video of it. It's not as good as I'd want it to be, but here you can see there's the first expansion for Descent 2.0 has been announced. A small expansion, which will add side quests and add a few more monsters to the game. And so they had actually a picture of the box, and I couldn't see all the monsters and stuff, but I was able to see some of them. They redid the Star Wars LCG. Originally, it was going to be kind of a little bit closer to the Lord of the Rings, a cooperative uh, card game. But here, it's now head-to-head, -head, two players. And, you know, I'm very excited about this because Star Wars is such an interesting universe. But they also had demos of it there. I wasn't able to play one, but Ryan Metzler was able to, and he said he enjoyed it. And you can see the different kinds of cards. Again, this is still, as with everything you're seeing in this video, this is all prototype still. But it was getting a lot of buzz, and it was constantly busy. And the idea of a head-to-head -head game, to me at least, sounds a little bit more interesting than the cooperative one, especially with Empire vs. the Good Guys. They also announced Borderlands, a reprint of a very old game. This is part of a trilogy of games. You might have heard of the other two games, Cosmic Encounter and Dune. That's what I thought. Awesome games all around. This is the th one of the three that I have not played, but with that designer group that's designed them, I'm looking very much forward to trying it out. They also announced a new version of the Game of Thrones card game, HBO style, and another expansion for Lord of the Rings. Their big announcement was Star Wars RPG. This is awesome. You know what's even more awesome? Everybody in this room is a free copy. Oh. What do you know? I was in that room. Well, I'm not, I don't know exactly what I think about the Star Wars RPG. I'm not a huge RPG fan, but it's Star Wars. And it's one of many RPGs. They actually, I think, have three different RPGs planned, designed by Jason Little, who you can see right here, actually running a, a version of it at the convention. And so a lot of people were excited about that, and we'll have to see where that goes. I was actually really excited about the expansion they had announced for the Star Wars a miniatures game. Look at that Millennium Falcon. And that's to size. It's, oh, okay. But it was just an amazing model. I was very pleased by looking at that one and by its companionship that will be coming out soon, the Slave One. 
And then you can see over there also the tie advanced, but that's all the scale. Of course, they're one of the games that's coming out very soon, Merchant of Venus, and you can see Eric looks extremely pleased by playing uh, a very good prototype of that there. Other prototypes I saw was the expansion for Conquest of the Planet Earth with some new alien races and new pieces. And one of the races has this uh, almost like Borg looking cube. <laughs> I don't know exactly what it does, but come on, doesn't that look cool? Very excited about that expansion. Uh, there was also all sorts of expansions from here's a, I mean, uh, different prototypes. Here's Meltscape, which is a game that might be coming to Kickstarter soon, has some pretty neat looking pieces. Ares Games was there showing off. Some of their new games, this is Aztlan, uh, which is a new game from Leo Calavini with some really beautiful pieces. And here you're trying to control different areas, you know, big shocker there. But uh, the people who played it said that it was a lot of fun. And these guys were actually so intensely involved in the game, they didn't want to talk to me much. Here was an ex the new expansion for War of the Ring, Lords of the Middle Earth. You can see the different miniatures and some of the cool stuff that's going to come with that expansion. Very excited to see that come out soon. And uh, War of the Rings is a great game as it is. This is a new game from Stronghold, Crude, which is out going to be very soon. Uh, October is what they said it's going to come out. I will do a review on it soon, but just look at that. It's like plastic, which I guess makes sense considering the theme. But the game was just full of tons of components. This is a reprint of an older game, McMulty. So a lot of people have been looking forward to this one coming out, and Stronghold Games was showing it off at Gen Con. One of the expansions they were showing there was the new one for Core Worlds. Uh, this is your first look at it, so go ahead and gaze at these cards in wonderment. The designer, Andrew Parks, was there showing it off. And as a quick aside, one of the neat things I liked about this convention, again, were all the designers that were there. I was able to run a designer forum with Eric Lang, Andrew Parks, Jeff Engelstein and Mike Elliott, and they just gave some really good feedback. If, if you were able to come to that, I really hope you're able to learn some stuff. But it was just neat to see these guys there, to see their excitement as they demonstrated both their games and upcoming games. And you were able to ask some questions. Celebrities who will talk to you. They also had the newest ex a version of Puzzle Strike was there with all the stuff that comes in it. The new player mats, which aren't as nice as the upgrade kit ones were, but they fit in this box and you get them. And they were also showing off here, you can see Titans of Industry. All this was being done by GameSloot. GameSloot came in with a whole booth and were showing off tons of different types of games. So they had Puzzle Strike, Titans of Industry. Here's the Great Heartland hauling company which was being shown off by chris kirkman who just did a great job i was able to spend some time talking to him with his podcast dice hate me uh but he was there and lots of designers were there showing off their games kind of all grouped together here we see a game that i really was excited playing as you can see i'm actually right there playing it there uh this game is called legendary it's it's coming out soon from upper deck this is a marvel comics deck builder it has a very similar feel to me to that of Ascension, where you're both fighting bad guys and trying to build up your deck. You're building up your deck with different heroes, and you, there's different villains, super villain that you'll fight. In this instance, we were fighting Magneto using Iron Man and Cyclops and such, but it was a lot of fun, and this is just prototype artwork. I'm really looking forward to the final artwork in the game, a great looking and hopefully great playing game. This is a game I didn't get a chance, but I mean, come on, the, the theme of it is hilariously funny. It's basically a game about evil people. What, what's the game of it called here? Evil Baby Orphanage. So it's about these evil people like Genghis Khan and Jack Dripper, etc. when they're babies. And so uh, people were pretty pumped about the theme. Whether the gameplay is good or not, well, we'll have to wait and see on that. Another game that we saw there was Gauntlet of the Fools by Donald Vaccarino. You know, that guy who made that tiny, somewhat popular game, Dominion? Well, this is a game that was being published by Indie Cards and Games, so they were showing it off as it's getting ready to come out. They were also showing off their new version of, Av of The Resistance. This is The Resistance Avalon, which is kind of like a sequel to the original game, but as far as I can tell, uh, retains much of what was in the original Resistance. 
Here we have an expansion for Cutthroat Caverns Fresh Meat, which is doing the trend of the day, which is an expansion, but also comes in a deluxe box that holds everything from the game. A few more prototypes before we end this video. Here we see Story Realms. Story Realms has some gorgeous artwork and it's kind of a mix between a board game and an RPG and it's all about the focus of, well, telling stories. The game is supposed to take an hour. It works for kids and for adults. I haven't had a chance to play it yet, but I will very soon. And I'm very much looking forward to it because it just has such a fantastic production and the idea is so much fun. There were all kinds of places. There was a hall upstairs where you could go and check out prototypes. It was a first published place, first look at different prototypes. So here's one called City Hall, which looks really interesting, uh, the, uh, the theme of that game. And this was nice because it was a quiet place where you could go play these games that was away from much of everything else that was going on at Gen Con. Here you see one that looks really fun, Heroes of Metro City, which is another superhero deck building game. Although they want me to make sure you, you know it's the first one. Uh, and then D Democracy, if you listen to our podcast, which you should, by the way, uh, you may have heard us talking about this. This is a very negotiation game back and forth about the government. I, I really enjoy this one just because of all the back and forth and trying to control different parts of the government. Uh, I guess we want to look at some more Merchants of Venus. Eric is making me put this in because he was so impressed with just how much, how well the game looked. I also got a chance to play the Anglestein's new prototype of Space Cadets coming from Stronghold Games. And whoa, this is so cool. This is each person has their own little thing that they're doing, their own little mini game. And you're trying to get your ship to go around and accomplish different goals. You're working together, but at the same time, you're working by yourself a lot because you need to get your job done. Uh, you ever want to be on a, it seemed my job there was shooting the disc and shooting the enemy ships. Um, what is this? More Merchants of Venus? All right. Well, we're just doing this to make Eric happy. Look how beautiful that looks. Uh, Griffin showed us a trio of games from Sid Saxon coming, Venture, Monac, and the one I'm really excited about, uh, Sleuth. So those are cool and they look just really fantastic. So if you want to go to Gen Con, one of the good reasons is to see prototypes. Look how neat this one looks that you never have seen before and you might never see again. But it's a great place to check out games that are coming out in the future. Come back next video for our final thoughts on the convention. For more news from the board game industry, visit GameSaluteNews.com. And for more from the Dice Tower, visit Dicetower.com. I'm Eric Summerer. Thanks for watching the Dice Tower.